most anti subscription current year they should be added what it you know direct the last year direct the next year not outstanding of the current year if we have received in advance which year for 2018 we received is 2017 it is an advance it is a liability but when you come to 2018 it becomes an income excess of income over expenditure is called surplus excess of expenditure over income is called deficit hello my dear student i am dr b s subramanya called by name Dr. B S S, Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidya Ashram, First Year College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Today, in this session, I am going to hand Financial Accounting to Unit Five, Session One, B Com, in favor of non-profit organization. Means it is a non-trading concern. We do not have the no profit at all. Only service motive. Example: Hospital and other thing. We'll go detail now. See that. Following are the balance sheet and receipt and payment of the sports club is Vijayapura. So the balance sheet on which date thirty one three two thousand seven. See that cash in hand is in a side sports material furniture land and building. Then we have got outstanding salary not yet paid. Pre receipt subscription subscription belongs to next year. Receipt already this year we belongs to next year two thousand eighteen. Then capital fund then. Here closing balance of this become the opening balance for the next year. Subscription received, entrance fees, sale of old newspapers fee. So subscription is income, entrance fees is income, sale of old newspaper is income, sports fees is income, salary is an expenditure, sports material is an asset, investment is an asset, postage is an expenditure, electricity charges is an expenditure. Upkeep of ground is an expenditure. Balance carried down is asset. I will repeat. I told you, don't take opening balance, don't take closing balance. Both are real account. Subscription is income. Entrance fees is income. Sale of old newspaper is income. Sports fees is income. Salary is an expenditure. Sports material purchase on which date? One ten. Remember, year on thirty first March two thousand eighteen. Then eighteen thousand is an asset. Investment is an asset. Postage is an expenditure. Electricity charge is an expenditure. Upkeep of ground is an expenditure. Balance carried down is an asset. Outstanding subscription current year that should be added. What it you know? Direct the last year. Direct the next year. Add outstanding of the current year. Or say la. Direct the last year. Direct the next year. Add outstanding of the current year. That should be added. Outstanding salary. This should be added to salary. Half of the entrance fees has to be capital. It means half should be treated as a revenue. Half should be added to capital fund. Depreciation on sportsman at twenty percent per annum. Prepare your income and expenditure account and a balance sheet. We'll solve in the problem now. We'll go to income side. What's your subscription? Fifty-two thousand. Add advance received in the last year. If you see that this is actually received for 2018, but received in 2017. If we have received in advance which year for 2018, we received is 2017. It is an advance, it is a liability. But when you come to 2018, it becomes an income. Should be added. Add outstanding subscription of the current year. That should be added now. It becomes fifty-seven thousand. Entrance fees. Half of the entrance fees is capitalized. Six thousand into half is three thousand. Sale of old newspapers income. Sports fees is income. Come back here. Salary twenty-five thousand. Salary. See that outstanding salary. Current year should be added in your asset side. Outstanding salary is there. No. Come back here. Here were land and building cash in hand and. Belongs to two thousand seventeen. See that salary outstanding salary of the previous year is seven thousand. Salary of the current year is five thousand. It is twenty three thousand. Postage is expenditure four hundred. The electricity charges in expenditure is two fifty. Upkeep of ground is expenditure is six thousand five hundred. Regarding the depreciation of the sports material in the old balance sheet is thirty five thousand. Is going to remain for one year. 
35,000, 20 by 100 is 7,000. And another material you have purchased on which date? 1,7. This is 1, 10, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. How many months it is going to remain? I will repeat. Purchase on which date? 1, 10. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. How many months it is going to stay? 6 months. So 18,000 percentage per annum is 20 by 100. How many months it is going to stay? 6 months. 6 by 12, it works out 1,800. Totally 8,800 is a total expenditure. Here income is more and expenditure less. Excess of income over expenditure is called surplus. Excess of expenditure over income is called deficit. What's the law? Excess of income over expenditure is called surplus. Excess of expenditure over income is called deficit. Here income is more, expenditure is net. This is surplus, almost net profit we say 32,200. We'll move on to balance sheet now. Cash in hand, your balance carried down figure, see that. What's your balance carried down? 19,500 is a closing balance, is never aside. 19,500. Sports material as per the whole balance sheet is 35,000. How much purchase during the year is 18,000 as per your receipt and payment account? See that. How much purchase? 18,000. How much total deficient for this one? No, this is for 3,500. This is for six months, totally 8,000. If we direct, it is 44,200. Furniture is an expenditure. Building is an expenditure. Investment is an expenditure. Outstanding subscription to be receivable is in a sense as per the current year adjustment. Come back here, your capital fund as per the whole balance sheet is 1,50,500. Then surplus during the year is 32,200. Half of the entrance phase is capitalized 3,000, totally 1,85,700. Outstanding salary, see as per the adjustment. Outstanding salary to be payable is 5,000. So total of the both side, it will come 1,90,700. Very, very easy problem. But concept is very important. Concept is very important. What's the last say? Direct the last year, direct the next year, add outstanding if they correct. If any advance received in the last year, it is income to current year. What's the law? Deduct the last year, deduct the next year, add outstanding of the current year. Any advance received in the last year, that should be added. Don't take opening balance, don't take closing balance, don't take capital expenditure item like land, building, directly it will go to asset side of the balance sheet. Don't take capital receipt item like legacies, life membership fee, that is called capital receipt, directly it will go to library side of the balance sheet that should be added to capital fund. Then the law say deduct last year item, deduct next year item, add outstanding of the current year. Any advance received in the last year, it's an income debate. Any prepaid from the last year, current year expenditure. Last year prepaid, current year expenditure. Last year advance, current year income. Regular income, deduct the last year, deduct the next year, Add outstanding of the current year. Hope you understand this problem easily. So half of the entrance fees is capital means half is the revenue, half is the capital fund. Hope you understand. I will repeat. So deduct the last year, deduct the next year, add outstanding of the current year. So as the examination is very, very much clear, in the first semester examination, we are going to ask for 15 months one branch account, remember, one branch account we are going to ask, you know, that is here got one consignment, one consignment you have to ask, one non-trading concern, one major branch account for 15 months with the invoice, without the invoice you have 13 months, one consignment account, one non-trading concern, 10 months question, one question from the branch account without invoice. One question from fire claim. One question from departmental account. Then you see the theory question. Difference between the receipt and payment account and income and expenditure account. Difference between the sale and consignment. Generally, a pro forma of the account sale of the consignment will be asked. Be careful about this problem, definitely. So if you are good in theory, there's a choice for 15 months. 
you her difference between receipts and payment account and income expenditure account we have to write about the 10 difference between receipt and payment account and income and expense very simple you have to write like this receipt and payment as account is real account income and expenditure is nominal account receipt and payment start with the opening balance end with the closing balance no opening balance no close like this you have to make the 10 differences so one 10 marks will there another five marks the firm make up account sale hope you understand me what i have told you see that you have to answer any two questions two practical or one theory uh, regarding the b section that had to appear for the practical examination one branch account without invoice then one file play very easy problem will ask one file one departmental account hope you understand me best of luck in the coming examination do well bring the good name to the institution to your parents and to your teachers once again i say best of luck in the examination goodbye once again best of luck in the coming examination